this is probably the fourth or fifth event like this we've attended this year for uh, Open Mind. You keep having these events, they're obviously very popular and they attract a lot of people. What, what is popular about them and what do people like coming to see? Uh, well, I think this event is now gaining traction, or this method is gaining traction. You're, you're seeing a lot of this, um, this process coming into the industry now. People are starting to understand it and getting more inquisitive about the, the technique and want to see it live on the machine tools. And what is this process that we're demonstrating here today on this XYZ 5-axis machine? Um, it's a process of max machining, and we're, we're particularly seeing the uh, finishing results from that max machining. So using conical barrel tools, uh, to give a really big step down on uh, planar walls or slightly curved surfaces. And that is the XYZ 5-axis machine that we're doing this on today. We're here in the Nuneaton showroom. It's, it's moving at a, a fair old lick, isn't it? It, it really is. It's quite astonishing, really, uh, what's possible now with these uh, machine tools. So it is, it's really interesting that uh, what we consider, or would be considered low entry, of what's possible in these type of machines. You, you said to me that this is an incredibly fast machine uh, a, 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 a relatively low cost compared to maybe some others. What, what, what makes you make that statement? Well, it is. It just the movement is sm is smooth. The, I think the control is a, is a nice control on this type of machine, which is uh, which is it has a, it supports a Siemens or, and also a Heidenheim. Um, it's very dynamic. It's just you know you just only have to quick look at the machine how it moves around. It's it's a very nice moving machine. Incredibly fast and incredibly priced. Now, Adrian, which uh, engineers would be coming here? What would they have to be making in their machine shop for this sort of event to be of interest to them? It, it is application driven, so what are those applications? Well, this, that's a good question. And, and we're, as, we're see, as we're rolling this technology out, we're seeing more applications that it can be applied to. So the, the easy, quick wins, you know, the parts that have difficult to access flat faces, these are quick wins for this type of process. So you can you know, pick a tool, pick a face, calculate, very simple, very easy to use, uh, incredibly quick results. But then we're seeing parts which have more of a, a curved face that can be used as well. I mean, this process isn't for parts that's, which uh, look like the Rocky Mountains or anything like that. It's if, if these faces are, are smooth uh, or, or have, have curvature in there, um, it's, a very, it's a really good process to, to get cycle time out of. Is there a big learning curve to this, or is your support as such that you would you would nurture an engineer into uh, into getting the best out of it. You know, it wouldn't take them much time or much of their valuable time. Um, well, it is. Yeah, we would, of course, um, guide them through the process. But this particular type of technology, from the ground up, is built to be easy to use. So we have a thing in the UK where we say, if it's not easy to use, you won't use it. So um, in this case, you pick a tool, pick a face, you calculate everything else about the, the five-axis positioning and and how it moves from uh, corner to corner is calculated within the software. So it's a really easy, simple process to use. How do you keep going and having record year after year after year? Because talking to Ken the other day, you, you guys are just flying at the moment, aren't you, with your cam? I, I think so. I think we offer enough in the marketplace on every, every release where we're, we're pushing, really pushing the limits of what's possible in cam. Um, we like to think that the software is extremely easy to use, so it's an easy buy into the process, not a huge learning curve. Um, I like to think that we support our customers, so it's a really important unlimited support um, we give our customers um, to help them through the process. Now, with this particular application that we're talking about today, we've mentioned the machine that, that is being made on this XYZ 5-axis machine. Uh, is there any limitations on machines that you can't adopt this with? So if an engineer was watching, does he have to have a certain type of machine to be able to get the best out of this? And if so, what is it? Um, certainly, we have, two, we have two processes. Today you're seeing uh, a toolpath that is full simultaneous, but um, we do offer a toolpath as well, which is uh, index-based. So if the machine is not so dynamic, or you don't want the machine to be dynamic, you know, maybe you, want a, you have a very heavy part on there, or the, the machine head is like a gantry-style machine is, is very heavy, we can lock down that so it's almost like a, a lockdown automatic 3 plus 2 um, type of machining. Okay, so there is the option. Just on that, we said incredibly, uh, incredibly fast here. How fast is this actually machine? And what are, what are the feed rates and what metal removal rates? Do you know? Yeah, it's a good question. I didn't program the part myself. My colleague did. But uh, yeah, it is, it is quick. And uh, and typically, if you if he did do he did program this uh, one of the pockets with a ball mill, uh, just as a comparison, and you'll see this in in the component. And it, we only machine uh, I think five six mil of the component compared to the full pocket we did with the other technique in the same time. So we're getting very close to 90% uh, decrease in cycle time.